Uh, my name is Nigel Glenn. I'm at the Thomas Merton Center. I was an intern for two semesters. You know, now I'm in like the weird in-between thing, but I'm there all the time. Um, and I have a letter from Senator Toomey from PCAR, which is the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Rape. Dear Senator Toomey, as you know, the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Rape works to end sexual violence and advocates for the rights and needs of sexual assault victims. PCAR partners with a network of rape crisis programs to bring help, hope, and healing around issues of sexual violence to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We are again asking for your help to bring these things to survivors of, se to survivors of sexual assault who are members of our nation's armed forces. We know that the vast majority of crimes of sexual violence will never be reported to the authorities. The myriad reasons, ranging from fears that they will not be believed to anxiety about retaliation, victims choose to remain silent rather than face people and systems that are biased against them. While this is true for victims of sexual violence in general, fear about the impact of reporting is particularly salient in insular communities such as the military, where one's professional, personal, and social lives are so uniquely interconnected and interdependent. The Department of Defense's Workplace and Gender Relations Survey of Active Duty Members in 2013 found that within the year period to the study, nearly 25% of active duty servicemen had received unwanted sexual attention. Over 6% experienced sexual assault. Numbers of reports by servicemen were significantly lower at approximately 8% and 1% respectively. However, barriers to reporting are assumed to be greater for men and non-gender conforming service members in a hyper-masculine culture. Victimization is too often perceived as a sign of weakness, and as a result, victims are silenced. We appreciate improvements such as the Special Victims Council Program, the increased focus on retaliation and prevention and education. However, we are convinced that utilizing independent, specially trained prosecutors outside the chain of command to pursue sexual assault crimes is an essential component to reduce retaliation, increase reporting, and respond to the needs of victims. PCAR is pleased to support Senator Gillibrand's Military Justice Improvement Act, Amendment 4310, to change the military chain of command's sole oversight for sexual assault cases, and asks for you to add your name to the list of supporters of this critical amendment. Thank you so much for all you do to support victims of sexual assault.